Howard from the Tomball Community Library, and this is one of our interviews in our series of Community Conversations. And today I'm delighted to interview our newest librarian is Elizabeth Burton. Ta-da! Hi, Elizabeth! Hi, Susan! <laughs> and so we have our questions. Is what one question we want to know is what, how did you decide to become a librarian? Yeah, so uh, it's a little bit of a long story, so I'll try to keep it short. So I graduated from college with an English degree with the intention of going into academia, which I did for a little bit, but it was not a good fit at all. And so I left. Um, and so I was kind of left to figure out what I was going to do with my life now, because that had been my plan all through high school and college. Um, and so I tried to figure out, like, well, what can I do with my degree and with the skills that I have? And I ended up in marketing for a couple of years, and that was also not a very good fit. And so I'm like, okay, why are these not? Why are these jobs not a good fit? And what could I find that I could use my skills for that I would enjoy more? And I realized that I was going to the public library all the time. And I'm like, why do I come here all the time? Aside from the fact, like, I love to read, I love watching movies, and all of that great stuff. And I realized that it was the only place in my community that really welcomed everybody, kind of, you know, regardless of economic status, regardless of age, regardless of what have you. And I just kind of had this epiphany, like, I need to do something to maintain this amazing institution that we have. And so that led to me applying to library school and quitting my job. And now I'm a librarian. Uh, and I'm much happier in this than I was in any of those other things. So that's, that's kind of the, the short version. Okay. Well, we're really glad you decided to become a librarian. And we're happy to have you here with us. It's Thank awesome. you. I know this is kind of a you had kind of a weird start with all of this. So <laughs> what do you like best about our library? A lot of stuff. Uh, I mean, kind of an obvious one. It's a really gorgeous building. Um, library architecture can really run the gamut from very sort of nondescript buildings to like super palatial buildings and, you know, big cities. And I think this is like a good medium. Like it is a gorgeous building, lots of natural light, it's very comfortable, um, and it's, it's a nice place to spend some time. But also, um, the team here is great. Everybody really cares about serving our community. Everyone is really knowledgeable and really happy to help a baby librarian <laughs> like myself. So I, I really couldn't be more pleased to, to kick off my librarianship career here. Yay! Okay, let's see. Now, who is your favorite author? That's a tough question. I've been pondering this one, actually. Um, I would have to say probably Jeffrey Eugenides. Um, okay. I don't necessarily like everything he wrote, but he wrote my favorite book, and so I feel like that means I have to pick him. Okay, and what was your favorite book that he wrote? My favorite book is uh, The Virgin Suicides. Ooh, what's yeah. that about? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> um, not a super family-friendly book <laughs> title. Uh, basically, it's about this um, suburb of Detroit in the 1970s where this uh, one family, all of the teenage daughters of that family, commit suicide within a year. And so all of these boys that grew up in the neighborhood with them are kind of trying to figure out, like, what happened, like, why mm -hmm. this happened. Um, and it's, it's just, it's a really interesting book. It has a lot of uh, unique stylistic choices. And okay. um, I tend to like things that are on, on the spookier side. So. Ah, okay. All right. Let's see. And what are your hobbies when you're not at the library? Yeah, so my hobbies when I'm not at the library and my hobbies when I am at the library have ended up being kind of similar. Uh, I, I love to write. I write all the time. Um, and I also lead our writing group here, which is the Scribe Tribe. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm also a movie buff. I watch a ton of movies. And I also do our movie review program, which Yay. is screenshots. Um, uh -huh. But 
my my other hobbies when I'm not doing things that are related to programs we do here. Uh, I'm a big music fan. I listen to a ton of music, and I collect vinyl records. So uh-huh. uh, if you're wondering where uh, your tax dollars go when they go into my paycheck, <laughs> there. Excellent, excellent. And have you always lived in Texas? No, I have not. Uh, I'm originally from Kentucky. I grew up there. I went to school there. And I lived in Alabama, actually, for a couple of years before moving here. Um, But when I moved here for this job, it was actually the first time I had ever been to Texas. (laughs) Well, welcome to Texas. We're happy to have you. And let's see, are you, have you had a chance to see things here in Tomball much? Not really. Uh, I actually don't live in Tomball. I live in Houston. Uh-huh. So I haven't really had a lot of a chance to see much of Tomball aside from the library. Mm-hmm. Most of what I've seen of Tomball has been limited to the library and the Kroger down the street from the library uh, <laughs> where I get my morning coffee most days. Yes. Um, and that's that's kind of been it. But, you know, I've, I've liked what I've seen, and I, I do look forward to, to seeing more of the town. Well, have you gotten a chance to look around where you do live and see any museums or anything there? Not really. Um, a lot of things aren't open right now. Um, so we've been largely just kind of uh, doing improvised bus tours from our car. <laughs> there you uh, go. <laughs> driving to see things, um, but I'm a, I'm a big foodie, so we've been, my boyfriend and I, have been kind of getting to know the city uh, by ordering delivery from okay. restaurants, and my neighborhood has a lot of really good restaurants, so okay. I'm pretty happy in that respect. All right, let's see, and, and you recently got to experience, I think it was a tropical storm and a hurricane. Yeah. Kind of experience. Yeah. What did you think about all that? Uh, that was really spooky. Um, Kentucky is landlocked and doesn't really experience a lot of natural disasters. <laughs> so uh, I have no real yardstick to measure this by. Um, Alabama, at least the area I lived in, did get tornadoes, but they weren't super frequent and they never got very close to where I lived. So this was the the first experience I've ever had where it was like, there is an incoming natural disaster, and (laughs) you need to make preparations. Um, So I I remember the night that it made landfall, I, like, could not sleep. I was so stressed out. Oh, no, I didn't either. (laughs) Oh, gosh, it stressed me out so bad. But, you know, then thankfully it completely missed at least my area of the city. Mm -hmm. So it ended up being fine for me anyway. All right, so is there anything else you want to mention, any programs? Sure. So uh, I do three programs with us right now. So I mentioned Screenshots, which is every other Thursday at 4 o'clock on our Facebook page, where I recommend great movies that you can watch for free through the library. Mm -hmm. So if you've exhausted everything on your Netflix and you're looking for something different, I would highly recommend checking those out. Mm -hmm. Uh, The Thursdays when I'm not doing that, I am doing Baking is Making, which is also at 4 on our Facebook page, where I teach you how to make a recipe or learn a cooking skill. Um, And I have one of those coming out this week, so be on the lookout for that. And then every Wednesday afternoon, I lead our writing group, Scribe Tribe, which I mentioned. So... If you also enjoy writing and would like to find a community of like-minded writers in your area, then uh, you should definitely check that out as well. All right. Well, I'm glad that you're here. You joined us and all your life experience put it together, and here you are, a librarian. Here I am. All right. Well, thank you for the interview, and have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.